What's up guys, it's Greta and today I'm going to teach you how to put in clip-in extensions so they won't fall out and they won't slip. I am here with a new mannequin and she is going to be my model for showing you how to do these extensions. I have lighter hair, which is why I chose her today because she has darker hair so you can see it even better. So I'm just gonna kind of turn her around and come around and zoom in and, and show you how I'm gonna do this. Uh, first things first, I have my tools I will be using today. I'm going to be using uh, clips. I'm going to be using a texture spray. I'm gonna use the IGK's Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. Love this, I use these at work. Um, and a comb. So, let us begin. All right, here we are. We have the head facing away from you guys, okay? I'm going to, I've already brushed out the hair. I'm going to section it where we want to place the extensions. So this is gonna be from like temple to temple going down. So I'm gonna roughly section that out, something like that. And then you can definitely go back in with your comb and make that a little bit more Perfect, so let's turn her to the side slightly. Clean it up a little bit. Turn her to the other side. That side actually looks good. So let's just clean up this back section here. And there we go. I'm gonna take this up, and this is where our clips come into play. Twist it out of the way, pin it up, okay. Now we're gonna take our longer piece of extensions. So this clips, the, it has four clips on it. What it does is clips in um, by snapping it in and out like that. So, this essentially kind of digs right into the hair and hooks, and then you snap it back in place to really sandwich it and set it in place. Before we do that, we're gonna prep the hair. And the way I do that is by using my texture spray. You can use something that helps you tease, which is why I've chosen this. So you wanna spray about six inches away from the hair. Kind of let that set. And then we're going to tease this section. Now, you want to make sure that this isn't going to be seen on the sides. So you're going to match it up from the center to the center back of her head and come forward and make sure you have a decent amount of space from the end of the extension to the front of the face. Cause you, you want to get the extensions close, but you don't want them to be able to be seen. Okay. So we're taking that section and we're going to tease it. You can do this on the top and on the bottom of your section there. You just want to make sure it has something to latch onto. And especially if your hair is like slippery in a like silky way, you want to do some teasing because otherwise these extensions are going to slip right out. I would suggest doing the teasing on the top portion rather than the bottom, just because this is exactly where those extensions are going to latch onto. Now I can feel this section didn't get enough of the product because it still feels pretty silky. So we're just adding a little extra of that. 
and doing a little more teasing there. Okay, now that the teasing is done, you find the center back of the head, okay, which is right where the nose is, if you follow that back. You're gonna find the center of your extensions, which is in between these two clips, and you're gonna match where that is. Now, I have my clips open, and essentially what I'm gonna do is this movement. I'm going to lift this up, come forward, grab, and then pinch it back into place, okay? So I can do that with these two at the same time. I'm coming up. Let's see if I can do it more on the side for you. I'll get out of the way. So I'm coming up like this so that my the clip part is at the scalp, touching the scalp on my the section that I created with the comb, combing it into that section and pinching them into place, okay? Same thing here, under, comb it, keep it taut, and then pinch it. Okay, pull that tight so this doesn't buckle. Coming up, comb, and pinch. Now that's not going anywhere. And then she has a row of extensions in. Like I said, I used the dark hair with the light hair so that you could easily see what was going on. Okay, so let's try and get a really close up on that action. And then you guys are all set to add in your extensions. So again, we're gonna take this part of the extension. We're gonna keep it tight from where the last one was to where this one is. You pull it up, comb it in, and pinch. Now you are all set. And like I said, that is not going anywhere. All right, guys, that is it for the tutorial on how to put in the, what was it called? I think. Oh my gosh, clip and extensions. Uh, that was the tutorial on how to put in the clip and extensions, and I hope that that was easy for you to follow. It was pretty cool to be able to see it more clearly on her hair because her hair is dark versus the extensions which are lighter. If I was to do this on myself or a different mannequin, it would have been a lot harder to see, so she came in handy. What is her name? Tina, Tina, how? Oh, thank you so much, Tina. Guys, this is what she looks like with four uh, different pieces of extensions in, which gives a lot of, um, well, length, number one, but a lot more fullness to the hair too. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give this video a huge like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do post weekly every Thursday with the occasional break, um, but very occasional. So I, um, I new place that I'm in, I um, am figuring out how, how I'm doing this. So I've got this desk here today, which has been super helpful uh, to hold all of my things. And I enjoy that. So if you guys kind of like this little setup um, and instead of, you know, the, I don't really know what I'm talking about. I'll just end the video here, I think. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for tuning into this week's video and I hope to see you guys next time. If you haven't seen it yet, I am starting to do uh, reading through your cosmetology textbook. So if you want to just listen on the go, go ahead and hit that subscribe button too because more of those chapters are gonna be coming out soon. See you guys next time, bye. P.S. When you are trying to remove your extensions, don't pull down, but take them up after you've uh, undone the clip because you have the, the uh, back combing in. If you pull it down, it'll rip through the hair. So if you come up and then out, and then you can take it out of the hair, then you'll be good.